Hello friends, welcome to the channel Solution. Today in this video we will show you how to operate or you can say how to use sonicator for the extraction purpose means for the separation of the chemical constituents from the plant material. This video is also available in Hindi explanation. Link of the video is given in the description box. We have already uploaded the lecture video on ultrasonic assisted extraction which is also called as sonication extraction in our channel. Lecture video is available in two part. In the first part we have described the basic introduction and principle of sonication extraction and in the second part we have described in detail about the principle, theory, instrumentation, advantages, disadvantages, application of the ultrasonic assisted extraction. Link of the lecture video is provided in the description box of this video. So first of all let's know the different parts of ultrasonicator. The instrument which is used for the sonication extraction is called sonicator and as I have explained you in the lecture video that there are two types of sonicator commercially available. First is the probe type which is directly inserted into the sample of which we are performing the extraction. That's why it is called direct sonication method and it is the most common method for the extraction by the ultrasonic wave. And the second type is known as the bath type which is also called as indirect type of sonication means the ultrasonic energy is not directly transmitted to the sample means here the ultrasonic energy transmitted from the probe to the sample through the water which is present in the bath. So this is the ultrasonic bath type sonicator and this is the lid provided on the top and with the help of the handle we can remove the lid from the bath. Now here you can see inside the bath there is a mesh basket provided in the bath on which we place the container containing sample powder for the extraction. We can remove the basket with the help of handle provided in this way. Here you can see there is a steel bath and here we have already filled this bath with the purified water up to the optimum level. Since here you can see this is the minimum and the maximum level given and within this limit we have to fill the purified water inside the bath means we have to keep the water level up to the recommended mark and after filling the water inside the bath keep the basket again inside it and then we have to place the container like conical flask volumetric flask or beaker containing sample along with the suitable solvent into the ultrasonic bath sample means the powder plant material of which we have to perform the extraction here you can see we have taken powdered plant material into the conical flask into which we have added water as a solvent for the extraction. Now place this conical flask on the basket inside the bath. Now there is a switch given in the instrument to on the ultrasound means we have to press this switch to start the ultrasonication. Next there is a switch given to off the ultrasound or you can say ultrasonic energy. Next there is a set key given to set the time means we can set the extraction time by pressing this set key. Next key is TC means temperature control to on the heater means when we press this temperature control key the heater get on which is indicated by this red light means heater is on and this in the right side green light indicate that the instrument is on and when the display shows that the set time is completed means when the display shows zero the equipment will shut off automatically and now when we press this on key means when we on the ultrasound for the extraction you can hear the sound like this that means sonication process is started means agitation of the particles by the ultrasound wave is started due to this agitation or you can say due to this vibration acoustic cavitation will develop as we have already explained in the lecture video and due to this cavitation which causes the cell disruption thinning of the cell wall increases the permeability of the cell membrane and which facilitate the solvent migration into the cell and ultimately the mass transfer and the solubility of the chemical components are improved and hence we achieve the fast extraction by the ultrasonication. Here you can see the reading in the display indicating the time countdown and when the set operation time completed then the display will show zero reading and our ultrasonication or you can say sonication process will automatically get stopped. Here you can see the time which we had set for the extraction is completed and the display is showing zero reading and the sonication is automatically get stopped. Now you can remove the flask from the bath. 
Here you can see that in a very small time the chemical present inside the plant material get extracted out means separated out from the plant material into the solvent. Here you can see in the lower side of the flask you can see that the solvent here we have taken water as a solvent is now dark brown in color due to the solubilization of the chemical constituents into the solvent which is separated out from the plant material into the solvent by the ultrasonication method. So this is how we can operate the ultrasonicator for the extraction of the plant material. Thank you very much for watching this video.